Hello students, welcome to class. Now from this question, we are given area which is 384 centimeters squared. Then we are given the perimeter which is 96 centimeters squared. Now we are to look for or to find the values of x, y and z. Now the first thing we are going to consider is the Pythagorean theorem. From the Pythagoras theorem, it says that the hypotenuse squared, which in this case, it is x. And how do we know that it is the hypotenuse? It is the side that is facing the 90 degrees, okay? Hy uh, pi uh, hypotenuse squared is equals to the sum of the squares of the two other sides, okay? So let's see this as our first expression, which is like our equation 1. Then the next thing we have to consider is the perimeter of a triangle. From the perimeter of a triangle, to find the perimeter is to add all the sides. So, x plus y plus z must give us 96. Okay, you check it out. x plus y plus z equals to 96. Now, this should be our second expression and we'll see it as equation 2. Now, the third one is the area. Now, the area of a triangle is half times base times height. Now, the sense here is you do not use the hypotenuse, okay? Either of the sides could be base and height, but you cannot use the hypotenuse. Hence, the area in this case is 1 over 2 times y times z and we see this as equals to 384 which is the area so we have equals to 384 okay and we have y z over 2 is equals to 384 so that y z will be equals to 7 6 8 this is our equation 3 Okay, now in summary, we have, now from equation 2, we can have that y plus z is equals to 96 minus x. So what we are going to do, we are going to square both sides. So this, okay, squared and this squared. Now when you square it, this is what you are going to get. You are going to get y squared plus y z plus y z then plus z squared will now be equals to one sorry nine two one six minus ninety six x minus ninety six x then we have plus x squared. Now, rearranging it, we are going to have, now this can be further arranged as y squared plus z squared plus 2yz is equals to 9216 minus 192x then plus x squared. But I want you to look at this. Can you see this? It can be changed. And these two, Okay, we can work on it. Okay, now why did I say so? Remember, we said x squared is equals to y squared plus z squared. And recall, we said y z from equation 3 is equals to, can you see it? 7, 6, 8. Okay, is 7, 6, 8. So we can replace it so that we are going to have um, x squared plus. 2 into 7, 6, 8 is equals to 9, 2, 1, 6 minus 192 x then plus x squared. Now rearranging it further, we are going to have x squared plus 1536 is equals to 9, 2, 1, 6 minus 192 x plus x squared. Now, collecting like terms, what you are going to have is x squared uh, plus 192x minus x squared is equals to 9216 
minus 1536. And you can see that this cancels this out. So we are going to have 192x now will now be equals to 7680. So that x will now be equals to 7680 divided by 192. And our answer is 40. So we've gotten the first, which is 40. Now, recall that y plus z, we said, is equals to 96 minus x. So therefore, y plus z can be seen as 96 minus 40, so that y plus z is equals to 56. All right? Now, recall again that y z is equals to 7, 6, 8. Now we have two situations. We are going to make use of these situations. All right. Now from the second situation, we can see that y is equals to 56 minus z. Then we substitute in the second in the first situation so that we are going to have 56 minus z, okay into z is equals to 7, 6, 8. Expanding it, we are going to have 56 z minus uh, z squared is equals to 7, 6, 8. Rearranging it, we are going to have z squared uh, minus 56 z then plus 7, 6, 8 is equals to 0. So therefore, we are going to use the quadratic formula which said z will now be equals to minus b plus minus root of b squared minus 4ac all over um, 2a. Now in this case, my a is equals to 1, my b is equals to 5 minus 56, then my c is equals to 7, 6, 8. Now, replacing it, we are going to have that z is equals to minus, uh, minus 56, close the bracket, then plus minus root of uh, 56, okay, all squared minus 4 times a, then times 7, 6, 8, okay? Now, everything here will be all over 2, all right? Now, this will give us that z is equals to 56. Then we have plus, minus. Everything here is going to be root of 64. Then all over 2. So that is going to be 56 plus, minus 8. All over 2. Now, having this, you see our z will now be equals to... Um, we have 64 over 2. Or we are going to have uh, 48 over 2. So that our z will either be 32 or our z will be 24. Now see what it is. Recall, recall that um, y is equals to 56 minus z. Okay. So uh, when y or sorry when z when z is equals to 32 we now have our y to be 56 minus 32 so that y is equals to 24 now in this case if you are having y comma z then it's going to be 24 comma 32 now the second situation is when z is equals to uh, 24 you can now see that y is equals to 56 minus 24, okay? So that um, y will now be equals to 32. Now, in this case, if I'm writing y comma z, then I'm going to have um, 32, then comma 24. Now, but when you look at the diagram, if you look at the diagram, z is greater than y 
okay since z is greater than y then it that y is one that is 24 okay then z is equals to 32 but recall again we found out that our x is equals to 40. so this is our answer so we solve that triangle okay i want to believe you enjoyed the video so please subscribe for more interesting videos